Hi everyone, Death Claw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters, a sci-fi horror. You can read and or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I have left the link in the description, and later on I'll put one in the upper right hand corner. And now to this live stream. In this live stream, I'm going to be going through where the cryo freezer is located in your camp build mode, how to build it, and some of the things I have learned about it and its uses and possible glitches. And also, I am collecting data, so do, do throw in the comments any information you have noticed. I'll be asking quite a few questions as I go along through this video, but let's go ahead and get started. So... The cryo freezer first appeared in the scoreboard. It is number 89 or 90. It is a Fallout First rewards only. That means you can claim it even if you just grab Fallout First for just a little bit. As long as you have gotten up to this point and the scoreboard is still here, you can claim it, but you will only have access to the cryo freezer for as long as you are a member of Fallout First. Now, it is a possibility. It will be similar to like the scrap box, and I'm assuming the ammo box, haven't tested ammo box yet, but that once you do not have fallout first, that you still can pull stuff out of this freezer, you just cannot add things to the freezer. As you can with the scrap box, you can pull things out of the scrap box, but you cannot add things while you are not a fallout first member. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I've had the cryo freezer for about a day and I have uh, tested it, trying to test some of the glitchings I've heard. I personally have not noticed any spoilage. I, the only tests that I conducted are these. I tried um, placing different camps so that the uh, camp would have to go from one location to the other. I have five pre- uh, placed camps and I had heard that when you go from one camp like when you ask uh, the map to go ahead and place this other location let me just show you what I'm talking about first in case you don't know about different camp slots so right now I'm at Deathclaw Girl Swamp and let's say I went and put the railroad one down I went to it checked the cryo freezer I didn't notice any spoilage I did it five, see I have five different camps, so I did it five different times and I did it twice. And I did not notice any spoilage. I am on the PlayStation. Um, if you have also not noticed spoilage at all, I would like to know, but I would also like to know if you're on the PC, PlayStation, or Xbox when you do throw it in the comments. Also, have you noticed spoilage when the items are actually in the freezer? I would really like to know. I am collecting data. I have heard there is spoilage. I just have not noticed it. So, can the cryo freezer be built inside a shelter? Yes. I'm in a shelter right now. One point to know. Um, of course, there is only 50 slots for the freezer, but you are sharing one freezer. So, if you put a freezer in one camp or another camp, in one shelter or another shelter does not matter your maximum is 50 because you are actually just sharing this freezer so it's occupying different dimensions and different <laughs> locations all at once so that's it this is it the other thing you do need to know is you are occupying space in your stash box so you got to have the weight for these items to be stored in the freezer also note that uh, I have, I see, traveling. The through hiker uh, gives you weight reduction. That is only on your person. So do you realize that when you put it in the freezer, it will go to its maximum weight. So you need that much space to preserve it. Again, I've only messed with it for about a day. I tried the glitch to see if it would occur. It did not occur, so I have not noticed any spoilage. 
let's see and now let me show you how and where you built it so you go into camp build mode it's going to be under appliances let me start from the beginning you will see it in new from the beginning for a little bit but then you need to go to appliances to build it and it is under the radio you should i think have the radio probably so it will be underneath the radio these are other items that you can grab but you might not have them so i will just say they're under the radios you should have the radios and here it is you can only build one per location and as i said before you are actually just sharing one unit can they be built in a workshop yes but let me go to the workshop i've already taken over and show you there's actually a problem i am assuming it is not by design so yes i have been able to place a cryo freezer in a workshop but as i'm going to show you it's not working i cannot access it but i wanted to be able to actually show you so you can see hopefully this will be fixed so here it is I'm just going to ignore who might or might not be attacking but here we go I have tried over and over and this is the second day I have placed the cryo freezer in a workshop and it's not accessible there is something wrong so I'm hoping they will fix this because what's the point of being able to build it in a workshop if you cannot access it has anyone else noticed this problem please throw it in the comments yes no yes you've noticed the problem was you actually able also to build it like I was again I'm collecting data trying to figure out you know this has the potential to be such a great device all right the other thing I'm going to uh, conduct an experiment haven't tried it yet but I'm thinking the answer is yes I thought it would be great if you had a little lunch box in your tent so that you could access this freezer by just dropping your tent real quick because I mean I would like to get rid of all my food that I carry and throw it in the freezer so I believe you don't need the lunch box all you have to do is go into your stash box and grab out what you want so that's what I'm going to try right now I'm at my tent so we're going to go over to food and I noticed that it does show you these things so now I'm just going to see if I can grab something let me grab something I don't already have death claw meat so we're going to see if I can grab it and yes so yes yay 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 this is a very very good thing now to access your cryo freezer all you got to do is drop your tent since you can only have the cryo freezer since if you are a fallout first member you have these tents so yes now you can access your freezer on the go so this is a very very good plus all right all right let me think real quick if there was anything else i wanted to talk about i'm going to go ahead and return back to my camp while i'm doing that nope let's try that again again i'm looking for data have you noticed any other types of glitches with the cryo freezer have you noticed any other types of uses for the cryo freezer oh i just remembered something i was trying to make the agua pastries had plenty of um, bear meat in the freezer but when i went to make it i could not from the cooking station access the meat so if you're wanting to cook with something or create something i think you have to pull it out of the freezer to make whatever you're wanting to make so let me go down here in case enemies attack it's a little bit quieter nice thing about the shelters hey does anybody want a companion that can go in the shelter i think that's a great idea it's something i've been thinking about thought I also throw it in the poll that I'm conducting with this uh, video okay so again let me repeat say you're wanting to make something with this angler meat you need to pull it out of the freezer first 
because when I tried with the cooking station, it wouldn't let me access anything. Because usually you can access anything that's in the stash box. You don't need to go take it out to make something for a recipe. But it would not let me access the agave meat. All right, I think that is it now. Again, I'm collecting data, so I would definitely, definitely like to hear from you if you've gotten this and been able to use it. Is there any other glitches that are going on? Any other great ideas that you can use this thing for? I'm very excited that we can access it from the tent. Um, you cannot put anything in the freezer, of course, from the tent, but you can at least grab something out, which I'm excited because the Yagwe pastries is what I'm both, mostly going to be putting in this freezer because they're a weight thing. It adds 60 pounds, and yeah, I just like to be able to carry 60 extra pounds, but I don't always want to have to return to my camp to get the pastry, and I'm going to try to get rid of the good with salt per cart. So that's why I was excited about this. A couple downsides, let me repeat. Yes, you can build it in a workshop, but no, could not access it at all. Would not work. I'm hoping this is a glitch and that they'll fix it. Again, people have been saying they have noticed spoilage. I have not noticed spoilage yet. I've only tested it out. I would say I had the game going from three to four hours altogether so far. So about a day's worth of gaming and I did not notice any spoilage. All right, that is actually it for this video. If you have any questions about the cryo freezer, throw them in the comments. I'll do my best to see if I can find an answer for it. And again, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check you guys later. Happy gaming.